it's just gonna be like a super casual sit down video i wanted to <laughs> i wanted to discuss the polygraph because a lot of you have been asking me questions about it what is it like how do you get through it so let's just have a discussion about it if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to follow me on all of my other social medias because i do post there frequently more than youtube let's jump into the video if you're new here hello my name is steph i offer a lot of information on my channel about law enforcement and how to get into this career so if you are interested in this kind of content make sure that you subscribe i try to give as much information as i can so that you are prepared when going through the hiring process to become a police officer so today we're going to talk about the polygraph I wish that I vlogged my experience as I was going through it, but obviously that's not realistic because <laughs> they wouldn't allow that at all. I'm gonna first start off with my experience. I walk in, I met with, I don't know what they call the person who actually gives the polygraph, the polygrapher. I met with that guy, he gave me a packet. I think it was like two or three pages and I had to fill out everything that was in that packet. It ranged from a bunch of different questions. Have you ever had sex in public? Have you ever stolen anything? Have you ever smoked weed? Do you drink excessively? Do you have anger issues? I mean, it was like bizarre, the things that they were asking. So it was a bunch of different questions and I answered them to the best of my ability. Going into the polygraph, process you never want to lie about anything okay we've all smoked weed our majority of us have tried it these were all of the questions that were in the packet that i had to answer so i answered them as honest as i could you never want to lie on these things because that just shows that you're trying to hide something and that can just get you disqualified from the hiring process so you always want to be truthful you always want to be honest when going through these things. And if you end up failing the polygraph, it's up to the agency to continue the hiring process or to disqualify you. So I'm gonna get to all of that <laughs> at the end. I filled out all of these questions that were in the packet and then he came in to the room that I filled it out in and he read all of the questions to me. He clarified answers. From what I remember, I don't believe that they ask every single question that was in the packet. I think they only pick and choose certain ones. You don't know which ones they're gonna pick. And then they ask you it while you're hooked up to the machine. So we went through all of the answers, all of the questions, clarified a few things. After that, we went into a different room where the lie detector test was set up i sat in a chair he hooked up everything to me he asked me silly questions at first like is this piece of paper white i said yes because it was white so they kind of ask you obvious questions that they know the answer to just to kind of gauge the radar to know whether or not you're telling the truth. Does that make sense? Obviously, every single person that goes through this is super nervous. I was super nervous. It's an awkward thing to be in. We're not used to doing that on a regular basis and it's for our career, so we don't wanna look bad or look weird, but only the detective, the polygrapher, and the chief know about the results to this test. The detective is the one that does your background for the agency that you applied to, they're gonna go back to the chief and say they, this candidate either passed or failed. The chief is gonna make the determination whether to keep you in the hiring process or to disqualify you. So after the test, I think he said you did good, but they don't tell you if you pass or fail. They just say, okay, yeah, you did good, you did fine. I will give the results to your chief within a couple days, and then the agency contacts you within a couple days. I just answered them with the best of my ability. I took, I made sure to breathe, even though I felt like I couldn't breathe because it is so awkward and strange, but just do the best that you can. Don't lie. 
you're gonna get through it it's only temporary even though it feels really awkward and it feels like it lasts forever but it really doesn't i think the whole thing lasted for only like an hour it was super quick so you fill out a packet they go over it they bring you into another room hook you up to the detector test they ask you obvious questions to gauge the detector and then they go right into the packet and ask you questions you just have to say yes or no you don't give any explanations to any of them it's just a simple yes or no so that was my experience <laughs> biggest tip to you is just tell the truth and do the best that you can so after the results are presented to the chief and the detective and the chief makes the determination to keep you in the hiring process after that you go into your psych exam and the rest of the hiring process my tips to you is to make sure you don't lie make sure you're forthcoming with everything that's in your past we all have a past and just because one agency doesn't like what they see in, in your background doesn't mean that another agency won't so keep trying if you don't get hired with one place go to the next and try to get hired there don't give up that's the biggest mistake that i see people doing is giving up just don't give up if this is your dream this is your goal do not give up on that. The way not, to not overthink the polygraph is to try to slow your heart rate, right? Because when our heart rate gets up, we just feel anxious. Take a deep breath, try to calm yourself. And what's nice is that, at least with my experience, they went through the packet with all of the questions. I can only go based off of New York and how they do it here and what my experience was because I don't know how every other state does it because I just don't live there and it's not like I study how everyone else does it you know so I can only go based off my experience try not to over think the question it's either yes or no you don't have to get an give an explanation so it's just simple yes or no questions and you just don't want to lie so if someone was just to like interview you about your life this is kind of how you can think of it then you're just going to give yes or no questions that's just a easier way to calm your mind you can get through this you made it this far okay don't think that you can't get through a polygraph because you can you absolutely can do it so don't psych yourself out. Don't overthink it. There's no need to overthink it. All of us have been through this. Look at how many officers that have been through it that have passed. So just try not to overthink it. Overthinking it is just going to make you spiral and you don't need to do that because it's really not that serious. At the end of the day, this polygraph isn't that serious. It's just to determine if you have really bad skeletons in your closet. So they just want to make sure that you're the right candidate. If you're a good, honest person, then you have nothing to be afraid of and everything will work out just fine. I really don't know what more to say about the polygraph. It's pretty standard. So if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will be happy to answer them. I'm here to help you guys. I wanna help in any way that I can. So if there's more information that you wanna know about the polygraph, please let me know and I will answer that. I just don't know what more to talk about it because it's, it's pretty standard. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you later.